Good afternoon. Hey, we're excited to welcome you to this Facebook Live session on behalf of Hope Haven Rwanda. I'm Jason Peters, the CEO of Hope Haven, and we have had an incredible season. A whirlwind of activity has been going on lately, and I'm excited to share that with you. And today is Colorado Gives Day, which is one of the highlights of our year as the entire state comes together in this philanthropic effort to support nonprofits throughout the state. I don't know if you know this or not, but Colorado of Gives Day is one of the most successful giving days around the nation. It's a huge effort. There's a $1.4 million incentive fund this year that will go even further to lift up our students and their families. It's going to be shared among uh, the, the Community First Foundation, First Bank, other community members, and all the nonprofits that are involved in Colorado Gives Day will benefit from it. So we're so glad that you're here. And the more we raise, the more we get from the Community First Foundation. So we're so appreciative of you listening in today. I'm excited to share that uh, every dollar from this campaign will go to directly support our mission, which is really transforming Rwandan families. It's lifting up Rwandan families through a holistic approach to discipleship and education, really demonstrating, we like to say actively demonstrating the love, hope, and truth of Jesus Christ. So can you believe it? Man, 10 years. This has been 10 years in the making. April was our 10 year anniversary. And I, I just can't help but think back to those days when Susan Holloran just felt like God was calling her to do something very meaningful in Rwanda. And so she went down and she said, hey, uh, how can I serve? How can I help uplift this entire community? And the way that it began was with students just under a tree um, mm -hmm. and just gathering together and and trying to begin a school from uh, underneath an acacia tree. It was a beautiful story, a beautiful genesis for this entire organization. She was joined shortly after that by uh, Liz Ngabiri, uh, Nate, Nate Kempton, Priscilla Kimbabazi, and these leaders came together really with the sole purpose of helping transform this community for good. And it was amazing uh, to look back and to see what God's done in the last 10 years. Now we're, we're coming up, we'll beat 11 years before you know it. It's incredible. Uh, think about that school starting under that tree. Those parents, and many of those students are still at the school. Those parents were wondering, wow, what is going on with this amazing lady? Is she going to be able to, <laughs> to pull off what she's thinking about? Because she's got this idea and she's, she's telling us that um, she's going to come and she's going to help our community. And they're wondering, what, what, do, what does this even mean? Little did they know at that moment that beginning under that acacia tree which is on our primary school campus which many of you have been uh you've been under that tree it's a beautiful it's a gorgeous you know giant tree um little did they know that those students would emerge you know 10 11 years now later as some of the top ranked students in the entire country we just did a blog post this morning about alice who was literally a perfect scorer on the national exams i mean these kids are growing up getting so much input They've had so much investment from each one of you who've been able to visit and to volunteer and serve there. And we love, we have more than 100 plus uh, volunteers every single year that come down. I think we had 130 last year. It's just incredible. So that all started with a little seed of an idea, if you think about it, uh, underneath that tree. And now it's just blossoming and flourishing like you can't imagine. Where are we at today? I mean, we have 1,516 students today. And I just got off the phone this morning with one of our team members down there and just getting the latest, greatest updates. And it's just so exciting to how the, the schedules are coming together. The students are learning how to work together. Uh, the faculty is getting into the rhythm and there's some long days. Uh, this is a new experience for all of us. And there's a lot of learning going on, but these guys are doing great. Uh, 1,516 students, 182 staff members, and they're in this brand new facility, which many of you were part of helping us uh, bring to reality. Uh, it's incredible. It's an $8 million facility. It's almost entirely debt-free. It will be debt-free soon. Uh, we're just right in the tail end of that campaign of finishing it up. And we just thank God for your investment in that. It's been remarkable. So it's been a journey of growth. It's been a, a journey of a lot of change and a lot of fast uh, moving in the country, a lot of hiring of new staff and a lot of recruiting of new students from around the country. Now every single district in Rwanda is represented. But here's what I love about it. It's not just about the growth of the physical campus. We are about the growth of people. That's what we're about. We're trying to build into future Christian leaders. 
And these leaders are, they're being built step by step. It's incredible um, just to watch them flourish. We have a, a Kugaba a kid, one of our, our family has a couple of kids' lives that we're involved in. And, and uh, the young lady that, that we sponsor, uh, that our first one we sponsor was Joyez. And she's just an incredible, just young woman. And I've been with her family, spent time in their home, gotten to know them. They, they, they've just built a relationship of just connection and just trust. And just to see her continue every year, I remember when she was a lot smaller and a lot younger, and she's just grown year by year, and she's blossoming into a beautiful woman of God. I can't wait to see what God does in her life. And that's the kind of relationship you can have as a part of our Kugaba Initiative, which I'll talk about in a second. But we're making deep investments in students, faculty, members, family, really the entire community. It's incredible. The entire community has been lifted up by the impact of Hope Haven, Rwanda. Hope Haven Secondary School, now Christian Secondary School, has 530 students boarding on campus full-time. Can you imagine? 530 students. It's a new chapter for Hope Haven, and the adventure continues. And we have a massive auditorium project. I want to give you an update on that. I was just chatting this morning, as I said, with the team down there and, and learned that they're using the auditorium already. The building part of it is mostly done. They're still working on a few finishing touches. Uh, but what we need is uh, we need to have uh, a stage and we need the multimedia components to turn this into what, what it's going to be. Uh, this is a space for a 700 seat auditorium. It's a massive room when you walk in there. It's got a balcony uh, up in the, the back and on one side. And uh, it's going to be a place that will be filled with worship, uh, spiritual development, discipleship projects. We are going to have performances there. Uh, all kinds of activities. This place is going to be used every single day. And right now, what we're waiting on is to finish it up with the stage and with some of the audio equipment, the projection systems. And, and so whether the students are there for assemblies or for chapel, for performances, whatever they're there for, I want you to know that today would be a great day for you to be a part of that investment. Can you imagine the, the spiritual fruit that comes when we're able to give to something this meaningful? When you're able to, to contribute to something for Hope Haven and say, you know, it's cool because every day I know there's going to be a student in Rwanda sitting in that auditorium watching uh, a screen uh, that I had a piece in and that I was able to be a part of facilitating for them. It's a beautiful thing and I want to encourage you to consider giving today. As you know, the more we raise, the more we get today on Colorado Gives Day. Uh, again, the Community First Foundation, First Bank, They've come together to, to put this $1.4 million incentive fund together. And so when you give to us today, we actually get a bit from them to match that. And so we just want to encourage you to consider if you are thinking about a year-end gift for Hope Haven, this is the day to do it. It really is. Can't think of a better time to do it to help us take advantage of that. So let me ask you this. How often do you use technology? We're using technology right now. I mean, this is how we, we communicate these days, right? We've got our phones, we've got our iPads, we've got our computers, and our students are becoming, they really are already digital natives. They've grown up in this world of technology. I don't know if uh, some of you are like me where you're kind of bewildered sometimes when it comes to how to use certain technologies. I, I will admit I've been guilty of saying to my son, uh, Jack, hey, can you can you... Can you do this for me? Because I, I don't even know where to start. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to embrace all forms of technology. And, and these young students are being given the opportunity to grow up in a context which in Rwanda is so unique. They literally are, they have tablets, they have access to laptops and projectors in every classroom and, and incredible systems that are helping facilitate their learning. And we need help. We need more tablets. We need more help to fund that because that's, as you can imagine, with all these students, um, that's a big expense for IT. So that may be something else you're thinking, uh, yeah, I, I think I'd like to make an investment in helping a student get some technology. And we're doing it very wisely. We've had some amazing consultation. Thank you. you. You know who you are. I'm thinking of some specific individuals who've consulted with us to make sure that we do this well and have helped us get licenses and the, and the appropriate uh, mechanisms in place for safety for students and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for that. That's been amazing. Um, your contribution today will make a tremendous impact. And that's just what I want to ask you to pray about today, to think about, say, God, I, I've got some you know, end of your giving I've been thinking about. Is Hope Haven the place that I want to do that? Is that what you're calling me to do? Because if you are, I can guarantee you that your dollar here goes really far in Rwanda. It'll make a huge impact down there. And so we encourage you to think about it. Um, 
Of course, with all these students being added, there's a growing need for Hope Angels. And our Kugaba initiative, that word Kugaba means to invest, and this is something we just started a few years ago, and it was so cool to see how it's already just begun to, to just, just generate so much momentum and so much connection and relationship. I'm a networker. I love building relationships. And so to be able to take a student in Rwanda and to connect them with a, a family in the U.S. And, and to really foster that kind of relationship, that's what the Kugaba Initiative is all about. And so if you're thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great for my grandchild or my my child to, to actually have some connection, uh, to have a person to focus on, a person to pray for. We prayed just this morning around our kitchen uh, breakfast table. We prayed for several uh, people by name in Rwanda. Some of them are people that are our Kugaba relationships that we're, we're, we're praying for them. So it's not just the, uh, the $125 a month that we donate for that. It's the prayer support. And our, our kids, even uh, our daughter, Tiffany, even uh, for her 18th birthday said, I, I want to do this myself. And so she, she had a job and she did it herself. And so she's uh, sponsoring promise now. And it's just, it's just so cool to have that kind of connection. So I would really encourage you to think about that. We need some more hope angels. And the great thing is, is that there's a couple initiatives going on right now that are kind of helpful. First of all, probably the most clear one is that we have a $100,000 match from an anonymous donor so that everything that is given today will be doubled in, in house. That's not even counting what we'll get from Community First Foundation, but it will be doubled by this anonymous donor. So we're so grateful for that. So again, that's doubling your match right away. Another thing is we have a $150,000 Hope Angel match. So we've got a chance to become Hope Angels today and have that matched as well. So it's incredible. Um, obviously, if you become a Hope Angel, that $150,000 match just applies to that. If you make just a general contribution, then the $100,000 match will apply to that and the Community First Foundation parts as well. There's also a Facebook initiative going on right now. So uh, the details on that one are, I have to read it here to make sure I get it right. Uh, the Facebook, if you start a recurring gift via Facebook, Facebook will match the second gift installment. So if you even wanted to give through Facebook, that's another thing that'll be matched. So there's all kinds of matching going on, all kinds of philanthropy going on today. Uh, I really think that uh, you can look at the link in the, uh, the comment there if you want to give through Colorado Gives Day, which is a great way to do it. Um, between now and the end of the year, every single donation is going to be matched dollar for dollar, all new money, including increases in monthly gifts, donated stocks, gifts through Colorado Gives Day, all that stuff is just being multiplied. So we're so thankful for that. And when you think about the Hope Angel thing, and let me just say some more about that, because what a way to just build, um, I would say, uh, a perspective kind of connection. It kind of, kind of takes us out of our daily, you know, we're in our homes or we're at our offices or we're at school and, and we're just kind of in our routine. And it's so good to just have that personal connection with someone who's literally half a world away living in Rwanda in some very difficult circumstances, sometimes some very vulnerable situations. And we have a chance to come alongside and to, to say, you know what? You're not alone. I see you. I remember you. I'm praying for you. And I'm going to stand with you through this. It's a wonderful opportunity. And I just don't want to let this day go by without encouraging you to kind of maximize that opportunity. So that program, as you know, if you're familiar with Hope Haven, is $125 a month or $1,500 a year. And that provides everything that they need for school. We do some, uh, it doesn't cover all their tuition, but it can, covers a lot of it. And the families, as you know, one of Hope Haven's principles is that the families are involved as well. And they can either serve on campus at our, in our fields, or they can serve in the kitchen or in other ways. Um, and some of them actually have jobs other places and they're just able to pay some tuition. Some of our students pay full tuition. So we've worked this out in a way that they have some ownership in it as well, for sure. But it's an opportunity that, that those of us who've been blessed in so many ways are able to give to those who are really facing some obstacles that, that we really don't understand most of the time. So if you want to direct your Colorado Gives Day gift to child sponsorship, if you click on the link and you go and you say, Hope Haven, uh, just put child sponsorship. A Hope Haven team member will be in touch with you. We'd love to follow up directly with you and just say, hey, how can we match you? Because this isn't a random kind of program. I mean, if you don't want to be matched with a specific student, we can certainly do that. I'll never forget uh, someone this last summer. She was so, so beautiful. She said, you know, I want the kid that, that everyone seems to overlook. Can you help me find that kid? 
And I thought, wow, that is powerful. She said, uh, I, you know, someone who's just maybe isn't that outgoing or as friendly as the other kids or, you know, doesn't have that smile or whatever. And so we did. We found this uh, wonderful student who, who needed some, oh my goodness, this was an incredible story. I, I, I got to tell you just a quick story here if we got a second. Um, this story was we literally went to visit this student's home. And on the way there, we were trying to get in touch with the mother. It turned out that the mother was actually on her way to pray. She was on her way to church. And so we ended up uh, meeting her and picking her up in our vehicle and taking her back home and walked in home. We started talking with her more about it. And I won't go into all the details about how challenging the situation was, but essentially she was on her way that day to pray for the next meal for her multiple children. And so for my friend to be able to come to her and to say, um, you know what, um, I'm going to help sponsor the school fees for one of your students. It just blew her away. Oh my goodness, the tears were flowing uh, from everyone's eyes. It was incredible. So those are the kind of stories that happen in these these miracle relationships where we're just saying, hey God, we're willing to take, to be stewards of what you've given us, uh, whether it's it's a sponsorship for a child, or maybe today I can I can just give a hundred bucks and have that matched and, and become two hundred plus after the uh, Colorado Gives Day incentive fund match, and and just see where God goes. I don't know. Uh, we won't know this side of eternity, but I can tell you this: we are very very grateful for you, each one of you. We know that we couldn't do this without you. It's an amazing work happening in Rwanda right now. So thank you for being a part of it, and we just ask that uh, you just ask God. Is there something I need to do to help? So thanks so much for listening and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.